So we are live in and I'm gonna tell you what all we've been doing. We're walking through the freezer section and this is um, a lot of rotis. Let's see, lots of writing. So this store is called Patel Brothers and um, lots of roti, flatbread varieties of all kinds. You can see they are multi-grain. So rotis made with, these are gluten-free rotis made with millet flour, sorghum flour, right? So I'm just going to do a quick breeze through because I feel like if I just stand here all day, I'll probably just be here forever. So the variety of flatbreads is just never ending and I think you'll find this in a lot of Indian grocery stores. Some are also semi-cooked so you can actually cook it on the skillet yourself. They're uncooked. Um, and then a lot of them are also cooked. And you can see there's some vegetable ones, there's all kinds of stuff. There's also lots and lots of paneer options. Because paneer for vegetarians is like their really big protein source, different brands. And I personally like this one, which is called Nanak. There's also beer, garlic, sprouts. So one little trip to this could actually enhance your pantry and add a lot of options to your vegetarian lifestyle. We also have a body lal brand which I've never tried but I, Amul is really good. This is a brand that's very popular in India and it's called Malai Paneer so it's very creamy in its texture. Also frozen foods that you just gotta heat and eat and this is more of a South Indian thing. Rice cakes. All kinds of frozen things. I just bought these cocktail samosas for my daughter who wants to eat them before she goes to college but there's also paneer filled samosas there's um, different kinds of fillings I know there's a spinach one there's a mixed vegetable one so you can really pick and choose whichever one you want more rotis a lot of stuff from deep Indian foods lots of different brands a lot of vegan vegetarian stuff and I'll tell you something very interesting if you go to an Indian grocery store and you see a green dot at the corner of a box that means it's vegetarian so it is suitable for people that are vegetarian and who don't consume any meat so even whether you're buying gelatin or custard powder or jello or whatever if it has a green dot that means the gelatin is not derived from animal sources this is another brand about which i hear some really nice things i've never tried it but you know looks promising a lot of people talk about it they also have naan all you gotta do is just spray a little water on it and eat it uh, more and more and more samosas oh my god this is just the beginning like this whole aisle is just insanely good freezer stuff and this entire brand is really more of a south indian thing so you can actually check it out so this is mostly from kerala so the coastal region so a lot of um a lot of fried stuff the varas which are the fried little dumplings a lot of semolina with vegetables, noodles, right? and these are all steamed. Sambar is the lentil, the uh, lentil stew that I've taught you in so many of my videos. A lot of plantains, bananas, uh, sweets, all kinds of things, right? And then there's a lot of meat varieties. So there's like chicken, there's... So if you have an Omni family where half the people eat chicken and half don't, then it's, it's really a good idea to buy these because they're perfect portions and you can just get what you want. This is another brand that's really come up big time. I've never tried it, because I know how to make all of this stuff anyway. Uh, more rotis and parathas. I'm actually gonna try to walk you through the lentil and the, uh, the, lentil and the bean aisle, because you'll get a sense of, okay, so look at all the samosa options. The good thing is that even in the fried foods, they try not to, I mean, even in the frozen foods, they try not to mix the meat with the non-meat stuff. So I find that really interesting. This is a very interesting brand of a lot of uh, ready-made spice blends. I just feel like they just have a lot of MSG, etc. So I'm a little skeptical of it, but wait, let me put on my glasses. Uh, see right there. You see this? That's the reason I don't buy any of this and I just 
use my own spice blends but um, if you're cooking in bulk it might be something that you can consider they also have things like paprika they have things like turmeric and the prices are really bomb this is another very popular indian brand that you can um, get and i think they make make a variety of dishes so be careful if you're going to use any of these meat-based masalas or spices to make anything that's not meat-based because a lot of times they will have chicken powder as a flavor enhancer so read your labels carefully they also have some dessert blends for carrot pudding which we just did in the instapot the other day right let me just see where is the aisle look there's more freezer stuff so there's um a lot of vegetables that are frozen and these are obviously organic because back in our home countries they really don't do pesticide based farming so erotic things like lotus roots um, also red red carrots that are very classic to indian soil drumsticks uh, flat beans i'm sorry to give you a quick overview also mango pulp that comes like this remember the mango ice cream that we made we could do something like that as well <laughs> thank you for the hearts i appreciate that um and also pomegranate seeds right so you'll see like if you really want a taste of indian food like the way it's made over there you can actually buy something from the freezer section because a lot of these brands are actually imported from india and the prices are ridiculously affordable so yeah oh thank you sharon yeah I hardly ever spent that much time in an Indian grocery store so this is the first one for me and also for all the fans of jackfruit who are uh, not in any mood to buy a big jackfruit and rip that apart and you know make full pork out of it just get this and uh, put it in your instapot with all of your spice blends with the queen's curry kitchen biryani mix or spice blend then during mix and you can actually have the own vegan version of whatever it is so lots of unique vegetables here cluster of beans there's also yams everything is just cleaned and chopped okra and these are all indian brands but they're probably assembled or made in the u.s this is the freezer with just the desserts look at that so you have ras malai rasgulla kaj, kash, kaju, kaju roll which i taught you how to make in the marzipan video ras malai yeah tim even i want to go to this store i hardly ever spend that much time as i'm spending here today because i thought you know let me just give you guys a quick recap of a quick sneak peek into what it looks like so a lot of snacks and appetizers a lot of sweets now these are fresh sweets so these are not frozen okay so that's the difference you'll see like the red box these are all fresh uh, lots of different desserts here for people with a sweet tooth also the ras malai which everybody is crazy about that's the flavor that I use in the white chocolate bark that I make. Lots of Indian flavor ice creams. I mean, the things are a little bit frosted right now, but just mango, uh, chiku, and like all over the place. I've just never spent this much time in here. So even I'm feeling like a kid in a candy store. <laughs> and these are all fresh sweets from uh, local confectioners. I would say always support local. Yes, you know, you want a taste of home. Sometimes you pick up that frozen thing. But when you see something that's made right here, wherever you live, be vocal for local, baby. All right, so these are the veggies. I can show you some exotic ones, and then I can probably go to the lentil section. So these are the green peppers that we did the pickles. Uh, in the last couple of weeks ago, we did that all kinds of greens jalapenos which we did the uh, cheese boats for my daughter's party of course i did not buy it here also a lot of uh, immunity boosting juices like the aloe vera juice that comes prepared ginger juice bottle gourd juice bitter gourd juice which is great for diabetics neem juice which is i think margosa wheatgrass this is in uh, Patel Brothers in Jackson Heights in New York, in Queens. So all of this is available on the floor. Jawan juice. There's also, I think, the Indian gooseberry juice, which is also supposed, this is like the basil, Indian holy basil juice, which is supposed to be super duper immuno boosting. So there's just a really a lot, a lot of options. 
lots of dill, lots of parsley, and their vegetables are like really fresh. I mean, you can almost see them glossy and ready to snap. It's that's fresh. All the radishes with their greens on, cabbage, and green papaya. I use this a lot to make salads for my daughter, and she absolutely loves it. These are bottle gourds, and this is really a nice therapeutic vegetable to eat in the summertime because it really helps to cool your body. I've done a video on uh, doing this with a tomato based gravy and it's really light on the stomach. This is pumpkin and they already pre-cut it so you don't have to get the whole thing and then wonder what you want to do with it. You can buy as small or as big of a chunk as you want. There's eggplants. Oh my god, there is so much stuff. See that? Turnips, a lot of root vegetables. Tomatoes, which are in full bloom right now. Um, let me see if I can go into the lentils so I can give you a good look at. Oh, let's just see all of the flowers that we have. So, tons of gluten free options. So, this is the chickpea flour that I always talk about, and I use it in a lot of my um, appetizer videos, like with the, with the pakoras and with the. What did I make the other day? The crepes. They also have rice flour, which is already done for you. Cream of rice. Um, there's a special kind of rice to make rice cakes, so that's already done. Also, this is a chickpea flour, but it's a black chickpea, so it's totally different from the garbanzo bean flour. Lots of flour to make rotis with. Semolina options in coarse and fine, depending on whatever you want to make with it. Of course, the very popular all-purpose flour. Let's see what else we have. Oh, this is where the lentils start. Okay, so let's just do a quick look at this. So we have the red lentils, which are everybody's favorite, right? And these are without the skin, so you can actually use it for soups, you can use it for stews, you can just use it for uh, simple boiled lentils with a tempering. This is the green lentil that you can sprout, that you can use for whole foods. and. That without the skin actually looks like this. So it's yellow on the inside. This one is the one that I use for sambar, which I've done the lentil stew with vegetables. This is chana dal. So you can see there's like a variety is just endless. And of course we have chickpeas. So these are just, you know, the dry goods section. And all you have to do is just soak them overnight and then boil them. Uh, this is another gluten-free flour, which is a moong dal flour. So the yellow moong beans are actually ground into this and millet flour this is again gluten free so you could totally use this to make crepes or to this is sorghum right so lots of different options here okay i'm just gonna breeze you through quinoa too i guess indians have caught on to eating quinoa and now it's a thing right this is a millet that has been ground into a fine powder and this millet if it's not ground actually tastes and cooks like uh, rice so i think it's called fox millet i'm not sure what the exact name is this is buckwheat flour but see how white it is so lots of gluten-free options um, these are also the tapioca pearls that i've done the, i did the pudding with this and i remember i did the tutorial not too long ago this is again something that's gluten-free and it's amaranth so this is sold as a grain that's this that's the thing that looks like rice but is actually a millet yeah it's called little millet all right so corn you name it um a lot of incense right there stuff for prayer and puja so a lot of incense and of course, these are all the snacks that go with our chai. Filled up to the top. So all kinds of cookies, salty, sweet, savory snacks. You name it, they have it. Lots of fruits over here. For anybody that's a fruit fanatic, fruit lover. Just a lot, a lot of snacks, man. I think Indians love their chai. And they always have to eat something with their chai. And this is the favorite world famous Parley G biscuits. They're just called Parley G. All of us grew up on it. It's kind of like an addiction. It's an obsession. You can never have enough, right? This entire aisle is actually just snacks. So like chips and cookies and you name it. It's all here. Okay, so I think that's 
only half the store. I've only been able to cover half the store and I'm already getting breathless between talking through my mask and trying to tell you what all I have around me. Let's see, we also have more snacks for the sweet tooth. And these are made with amaranth. These are made with rice puffs, all different kinds of things. These are peanut and jaggery, which is kind of like an unprocessed sugar. Yeah, so just a lot of snacks, I guess. We just like our snacks. What can I say, right? Look at that. More snacks. Peanuts, sesame, squares, nut squares, all kinds of things. Right? Um, a lot of dried fruit, nuts, whole cashews. So if you're looking for your cardamoms and your walnuts and your pine nuts or whatever, this might be a good place. Pistachios, everything shelled or without the shell. Whatever your preference is. All kinds of peanuts, raisins, figs, cardamom, uh, yeah, and just a lot of aromatics right here. Your cloves, clove powder, cinnamon powder, whole cinnamon, coconut powder. Look at the size of the coconut powder bags, right? Also dry coconut, which is kind of packaged and it's dry. It has a very special flavor that it, it uh, gives to your dishes when you add them. Sesame seeds that are roasted or brown. Uh, and this is the crystal sugar. So this is kind of like the healthier version of sugar where it's just allowed to crystallize around the thread. These are all the mouth fresheners made with fennel and mint and whatnot, right? Yep, so a lot of uh, quick foods on this side as well. Like I said, I only covered half the store. We still have a good half <laughs> that we have not gone to. So these are all the slivered almonds and whatnot. Right? All the kinds of almonds. More lentils and beans right from that wall to this wall. And these are all like packaged mixes. All you got to do is like add water and steam them, or fry them or whatever. So yeah, that's that. Um, the next aisle is just made mostly a lot of uh, wheat-based flours. And if you want, I can do a quick breeze through. But let's see. I'm going to have to... Yeah. So more lentils in this aisle, if you can see. Okay. Just going to try to go really, really slowly. All kinds of rice. Brown rice, brown basmati rice, parboiled rice. Red rice different kinds of tea this is the chai tea leaves the tea bags a lot of them are from assam so they're like black tea leaves lots of rice varieties down here yeah you really have to get in here to see a lot of uh, wheat varieties so wheat flour is right here <laughs> yeah Tim I'm telling you if you come here you cannot you'll probably go overboard and you'll never stick to the list that you made this is the this is the wheat that I use to make all your rotis in the food delivery service that you order this and this the multi-grain so these are the two that I use and they stay really well in the fridge after you make the rotis so that's what I use there's also like Indian beauty products like shampoos and talcum powders and all of those things against that wall a lot of pickles down there that 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 way is all like pickles and sherbets so that's about it um this is going to be a wrap so i have to go get in line so i can get out of here really quickly i'm kind of getting a little breathless from constantly talking with my mask on but thanks for joining me i will see you again in another one feel free to stop by in jackson Heights one of these days um we're in queens 74th Street and the name of the store is Patel Brothers P-A-T-E-L-B-R-O-T-H-E-R-S so I'm now going to reach out for um, these Pani Puris which are just amazing I don't know if I want to get these I think I'll get these which you can actually fry I'm going to get these just fry them and they just become ready to eat. Yeah. I'm gonna get these and of course I have the samosas that I bought already. So with that I'm gonna say 
goodbye to each and every one of you, but I will see you again soon in the next one. Take care. Bye.